For the first time since its release last August, the movie, The Last Temptation of Christ, was seen by area residents. As Mark Wolf tells us, just like everywhere else it's played, tonight there was opposition. All the right reasons. Every day is a fun day at the Immigration and Naturalization Service, as well as looking to the border area's drug traffic problem. For the first time since its release last August, the movie The Last Temptation of Christ was seen by area residents. As Mark Wolf tells us, just like everywhere else it's played tonight, there was opposition. Okay, and, and according to God's word, okay, this is what this is not what the film depicts. The film depicts that Jesus no, I mean, fell into temptation. Yeah. He didn't. The Bible says he was tempted. This is a non uh, This a is a fictitious work. Okay. Even um, with all the protests, tonight's opening of the last temptation of Christ at the Fountain Theater in Old Messia had people waiting to get in. Two of them spent six hours today riding from El Paso to see it. I have heard so much about it, and uh, I wanted to see what the big fuss was with uh, a group of, you know, protesters, the fundamentalist Christian groups that um, banned the film nationwide. The movie's opponents say they don't condemn the viewers, but rather the story's portrayal. This is one man's sick interpretation of what he felt happened. This is not according to what God said happened, or what we know happened. Even though there were protesters at tonight's premiere showing, the crowd was a sellout. And those that did show up said it was because of all the controversy. I think that um, a lot of people overreacted because, I mean, it's just a movie. It's, um, it's not going to do any harm. I think it's terrible that uh, religious groups are so close-minded on this subject that they can prevent other people from seeing what is uh, legitimately a good film. With or without the opposition, the theater is scheduled to show The Last Temptation of Christ eight more times by the end of the month. Mark Wolf, News 4, El Paso Tonight.